I want to ask you, like, is there, what are some revelations of the Lord and who he is that have sort of changed your life, taken you deeper into the Lord? Maybe there's, I mean, I'm sure both of us have a lot of them, mm-hmm. but what are a couple of them that come to your mind? I think one of the biggest ones, first one that comes to my mind, mm-hmm. which will, is so important yeah. for anyone that uh, is a follower of Jesus, mm-hmm. is the reality of sonship okay, or adoption. So what do you mean by that? And I think it's something that the Lord has continually whispered over me, mm-hmm. uh, something that you've spoken over me as my close friend, mm-hmm. and that the when we actually believe and walk in the identity of sonship, hmm. it, it is an easy yoke. Wow. And uh, I, I, the J. Thomas has a song mm-hmm. called I Have Decided. Yeah. And I remember that song marking me wow. for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. And the, one, the main lyrics or one of the choruses uh, is I have decided, you know, to follow Jesus. But he gets to a point where he's talking about all for the sake of love, mm-hmm. all for the sake of love, I give it all up. Well, I give it all up. And I just loved that. Mm. Where it was the sake of there. And I know a, a phrase I have used oftentimes that the Lord whispered over you to let go of sin in your life or, or attachment you had mm-hmm. was there's so much joy on the other side of this trade. Oh, wow. And so basically what you're describing is beginning to understand the the Lord as Father. As Father. And understanding yourself as His Son. As His Son, yes. Wow. And it's for, it's in, it's for love. Mm-hmm. It is all for the sake of love, that He is not only my God, He's my Master, my Lord, and my friend. Mm-hmm. And I think the revelation of being a son mm-hmm. is something that He is content, that I have, am am holding tightly to. Yeah. And the in the same vein as that is being a friend. Yeah. And there's a phrase at my church that I love uh and a Corey Russell video. Mm-hmm. Uh that the the phrase is know who you are, be who you are, like who you are. Oh wow. Know who you are, be who you are, like who you are. Mm-hmm. And I first read that and I go, oh, that's kind of self help ishy. I don't <laughs> I don't know if I like that very much. And I was like, ah, I know, I'm a sinner. Oh, like wow. I don't I don't like who I am. Wow. Like why would I like who I am? Yeah. Or or there's insecurities about this, about the way I look or about yeah. uh, why am I not as th- this characteristic that I see in this person mm. and and I I think I I leaned more towards the side of uh Covering it with humility and masking it with humility, but really what it really was was insecurity. Oh, wow. Of, I, I don't like who I am, man. Romans 3.23. <laughs> like, is, that, that, is that all fa- fallen short? Yes. All, for the wages of sin is death. Uh-huh. You know? Okay. And, and, I'm, and Romans 6.23, that all have sinned. Right. And fallen, fallen short. short yeah. And I'm just like, that's me, man. I'm worthless. Mm. And there's, you know, there is a reality that like in and of ourselves, apart from the righteousness in Christ, we right. are. But when we, when we, when the Lord grants us His Holy Spirit, yeah, and uh, when we believe in faith that Jesus is who He said He is, mm-hmm. that uh, His the power of His death on the cross and resurrection, yeah, gives us life mm-hmm. and peace with a holy God. My identity is now as a son. Yes, and there's so much freedom in walking in that. Oh, that is that is profound. That I'm yeah. still. I think the Lord is still revealing one hundred percent the the beauties and the treasures mm-hmm. of of that revelation that He has for us and and uh, yeah. and I think the the Corey Russell video just to it's when he was at Upper Room that you've sent me it's on your channel you mm-hmm. guys go check it out <laughs> uh, I don't know the title of the video it's called um, it's called Jesus isn't boring or ugly yes it's just three and a half minutes go check it out mm-hmm. on Nathan Griffith's YouTube channel but Good. I. This is the platform where I can plug my stuff because that this is. is my podcast. Yeah, and another thing, real briefly, is Nathan's heart. As someone who's close to him, he Nathan does not care about Nathan Griffith's name being famous. Hmm. And I want people to hear that. I want people to hear that anytime you put clips up of certain things or hmm. people, your heart is that they would know Jesus. Yeah. And so I want to make that clear too. That's I know awesome. you won't toot your own horn, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> and so I love spreading Jesus content. Yeah, exactly. And you yeah. and you do it from all different ministries mm-hmm. and and your favorite teachers and worship clips, whatever else. Mm-hmm. But 
in the very beginning of that clip, Corey Russell just goes, he's kind of joking around, mm -hmm. and he just goes, I like who I am. Wow. Jesus likes who I am. And that's a simple phrase. Wow. And he's, he, it was coming off of a funny moment, the crowd's laughing, and then mm -hmm. he just pauses, and he's dead serious, and he says that. Wow. And people are still laughing. But he's not, he's serious. He's like, I like who I am. Mm -hmm. Jesus likes who I am. And I'm going to cry when I say it. Wow. And, and I think, I think watching that video, what it sparked in me mm -hmm. was there is a security in an identity yeah. as being loved by God. Yes. That is invaluable and yeah. something I just want to continue to grasp a hold of. And I, that is what the Lord's speaking to my heart now is, gee, hey, Jesus likes who you are. Wow. And he's not ugly or boring. He's absolutely beautiful. And I think for, man, dude, this is a powerful revelation that has changed the way that you relate to the Lord. Yes. And I can say the same thing about myself. And really what you're talking about is the shift from looking at yourself as just a no good sinner that is just like gross and it, Basically, yeah. we sometimes... It's like the best thing that's offered in that, the mindset I had is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I, I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven, but I'm still like... Which is important and profound and beautiful. Definitely. But not the most important thing. As redeemed believers who embody the Holy Spirit have been born again, yes. we no longer have to identify as sinners. Yes. We were sinners, and that we were saved by grace. Yes. And now we're sons. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're talking about, shifting our identity from sinners to sons. We're understanding that actually, we're actually the righteousness of Christ. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to identify with our unredeemed, sinful self. Yeah. Because the Lord has actually washed us, and he, when He sees us, He sees Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's not arrogant, prideful, or any of those other things to say, no, I'm not a sinner saved by grace. I was a sinner that was saved by grace. And because of that grace, I'm a son. Yeah. With the ability to still sin. Yeah. But that's not my identity. Yeah. I think, dude, I think that has been one of the most profound revelations in my own journey as well. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, Romans 6, 11 says, even so consider yourself dead to sin. Wow. You know, Paul's trying to, he's like, I want you guys to get it. Mm -hmm. You know, don't sin that grace may abound, mm -hmm. but but you are dead to sin and wow. consider yourself dead to sin and present yourself now as members to righteousness. Yeah. And, you know, I just want to hit on this real quick is John 15, 9, which is what we talked about yesterday in your friendship group and mm -hmm. your community here in, in Kansas City is, I, well, I just want to believe this. Mm -hmm. And if I believed this, what confidence would I walk in? Mm -hmm. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Mm. Abide in my love. Oh, <laughs> Wait, this is Jesus talking? Oh, yeah, it is. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Wow. Abide in my love. And I think now more than ever, I'm, and I have so far to go. And yeah. The Lord's patient and kind. But I'm asking him to just continue to let that wash on the waves in my heart that I would believe mm -hmm. it. And so... Uh, yeah, man, and it's been sweet. I've had, and I tell people right now, I've had the best three months of my life. Wow. Not because I, not because God loves me more, but because I'm starting to just hold tight to His promises. This is an emphasis that the Lord's been, like, putting on your heart the last three months is the sonship thing. Is sonship. Not just the last three months, but, like, definitely that's, like, what He's been highlighting and been, like, really pressing in on. Yes.